This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Awesome Chat is brought to you by Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. <laughs> Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on Twitter here from a different location for the awesome chat this week. The awesome chat where we talk with awesome people in and around, outside of, all around Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and doing uh, awesome things in technology, social media, and maybe arts and culture every once in a while too, as is the case today. Please check out everything at awesomecast.com, including past interviews and our weekly show, The Awesome Cast, uh, where we have a lot of uh, discussions about what we think is awesome in technology and everything uh, every week. And uh, subscribe to Awesome Chat on the iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, as well as the Google Play Music and video versions on the YouTube and Facebook page for Awesome Cast. And keep an eye out for events from whenever we, whenever we do do these live streams as well and check out awesome cast on the twitter and all your social media places so the millville music festival is coming up we've been uh, of course mentioning it here a bit on the awesome cast and uh and we like to uh check in with things going on especially since there's something new and fun happening this year that's more than music Mike Zikafus is joining me with the awesomest hat, by the way. For you guys on audio, it is a Ninja Turtles rad hat. <laughs> uh, so um, definitely uh, we're on the same vibe here right off the bat here. How are you doing, Mike? Uh, pretty good. Thanks for having me. Awesome. So Trying to be awesome. What can I say? There you go. <laughs> so first of all, Millville Music Fest um, is this cool thing that takes over Millville when we're here on Millville. Oh, by the way, we're in River's Edge Studios here. So if anything looks or sounds like slightly different than what we do, okay, the visuals are definitely different than what we usually do. <laughs> and we have a green screen and everything going on here. Uh, so thank you, thank you, Brian Crawford, for uh, uh, letting us invade his space uh, for this show to do this too. Uh, check that out, River's Edge pgh.com but millville music fest is like this i i haven't been able to get to it because of unfortunate uh prior commitments but uh you know first tell everybody what is this thing this massive thing that takes over this town millville music festival uh year number two uh growing and going for more last year uh there was over 150 bands all throughout millville throughout different uh venues um spanning millville um Really fun, positive feedback all around, and just uh, going uh, to make it bigger, better this year, adding more stages, more bands, as well as this year, uh, Art on Sedgwick Street. Art on Sedgwick Street. That's awesome. That's over by the uh, Panza Gallery, right? Panza Gallery, I correct. Know, I've heard yep. so much about Panza Gallery. Worth checking out. That's great. So so tell me what you guys, you know, this has been music focused, but you're you're expanding this out with art. Uh, you know, why, why are you going this direction? Um, it's just another good way to involve the the community to uh, keep it local, uh, just like the local music, local artists, um, and just um, music and art, different forms of performance art, just always like go well in a fun festival setting. Um, mm -hmm. If you enjoy one, you're bound to enjoy another. Um, be kind of fan of something you're not or get exposed to something you had no idea about before. Um, so the music will continue. There'll be a stage, uh, a new stage on the uh, Grant Ave end of Sedgwick Street and then on both sides of the, the street the sidewalks um, all the way up to the firehouse uh, two sidewalks uh, filled with art of all different kinds um, it's been an awesome process um, gathering making the call out and um, definitely a true challenge, uh, sifting through, investigating, uh, checking everyone out. But it's been um, awesome, educational, and inspiring all at the same time. That's awesome. So, in in Cedric is is kind of. Um if I if I remember the map from last year, uh, it's it's very centralized, right? Like it's it's kind of very, going to yeah. be in the middle of everything going on. That's definitely safe to say, yeah. Because so, um, you guys again just take over, and, and it was cool to see like where you guys ended up with stages when when uh, I got the video back from uh, everything going on here and everything. So and of course a lot of live stream streaming and everything like that. Is there anything live happening? You know anything anything that you know about? That's playing? I know you guys are still uh, taking submissions, right? No. no submissions are closed submissions are, yeah at this point M music has been closed a while and um art uh that deadline was uh, about two and a half three weeks ago okay okay so what what um are we kind of expecting that people can see there 
everything. Everything. <laughs> like no joke um, between the music and art. Um, think of any, every different type of subgenre you could think of for music. Uh, mm -hmm. Think of any different, um, you know, educational word term like vocab word. Yeah. Um, you're gonna you're gonna see it. It's gonna be awesome. Um, a lot of familiar faces that I've worked with in the past as far as the art goes, a lot of new people to work with. Okay. Um, again, just always getting inspired by others, seeing what people do, seeing people's different um, progressions and careers go out um, here and there, as well as just, again, just always bringing in, including more people into the things. Mm -hmm. um, variety is the spice of life. That's be, awesome. Be open to it all. Tell me about the, you know, the, you're, you're kind of dealing with a whole different scene here. Uh, and kind of you know mixing it in with everything that's going on with the the, the great awesome mu music scene that, that that you know of course Rivers Edge and Metal Edge and, and then this festival um, are really kind of showcase here in the greater Pittsburgh area. Um, tell me you know what is the art scene like here in Pittsburgh that you're you're kind of showcasing here? Um, I'd say it's uh, pretty healthy, spread throughout. Mm -hmm. um, again, all different types of. Uh, styles not just within painting, um, again, all different kinds of painting, be it oil, water, acrylic, through, mm -hmm. again, everything from charcoal drawings um, to other type of mixed media. Um, again, think of abstract surrealism, figure drawings, um, realism, modernism, all that type of stuff. Um, but expounding uh, beyond the art, there's also a couple forges. Um, bringing in uh, some metal work, which is really nice. cool and exciting. Um, there's also a couple uh, clothing um, acts as well to have to check, try out. Um, are going to be photography? Any, other yeah. Are there going to be any like live demonstrations or anything here? Um, so I'm in the process of working um, possibly one uh, live forging. Mm -hmm. um, we will definitely have some live painting going on. Um, whether the artists are at their booths or maybe they want to go mobile and check out some of the other stages. Mm -hmm. um, so there'll definitely be live painting. Uh, I imagine anyone else that within their uh, sculpting, carpentry, anything like that. I mean, everyone's more than welcome to do that. Um, so yeah, be prepared to, to see a little bit of a lot. That's awesome. It, it, it seemed that um, um, it was a little bit of, you could walk around this festival around town and it was a little, little bit of, uh, uh, you know, see what you could see things like, you know, one thing that was illustrated was there, there's a bit of video where you're just walking down the street and here's just people doing yoga, yoga on the side of the street, like five people doing yoga demonstrations, you know, uh, you know, like stuff That's like true. that. This seems to just kind of like add to that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I was definitely part of that yoga demonstration oh, last yeah? year. Um, I'll have to see if you're in the video. Uh, <laughs> Melville Yoga Collective. Uh, thanks uh, to Jenny Sines, who also is mm -hmm. an awesome fundraiser. Um, Coordinator, we have one more April 27th at Good Time Bar. If anyone's out there interested, a little preview, want to help uh, support local, um, that's the last fundraiser before the festival. Mm -hmm. And Jenny also um, organizes all the street performer um, art and aspects that go on for the day as well. Awesome. Um, you guys, of course, are looking for volunteers. So definitely we'll put a call yes, out for that. Definitely. I mean, this is a big undertaking and it's a everybody you guys are volunteers in, in this thing it's a, it's a community effort for sure now a lot of a lot of hands make light work um, mm -hmm. and just to do things um, again better than last year our professional smooth just um, very accommodating to the musicians the artists um, to make things a, a fun affair for the patrons that are um, supporting the festival volunteers go a long way um, I've I've uh, been a volunteer for smaller and bigger regional um, festivals, and it's always a, a good way to meet people, learn something new, um, be a part of some, something you didn't before. And um, it just, just lets you walk away feeling like you did good, like you mm -hmm. were part of something bigger. You got to experience something you didn't before. Um, and then whenever you're, you do get your hours in, you know, you can cut loose, um, check out more of the festival, have a good time, and just be an awesome um, advocate for the festival. If you're if you're a fan of you know art and music, I I got to I for the first time I volunteered for a, a convention downtown or a replay FX, and it was really cool to like get closer to that. You know, it, like I love video games, 
and I got to like be next to it all weekend, you know, and, and work in the section. I was like, yeah, I love uh, working in this bit. Like as a volunteer, like you get to be closer to the, Without a doubt. You, you get closer to the I mean, music. You anyone get, looking for that type of just, if not just for the sake of volunteering, that type of industry experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, that's definitely a good, uh, route to go. Um, a lot goes into it. It's a, you know, it's a serious thing. So I, it's another way to help the, the festival go as fluid as it does. Um, so if you're thinking about it, um, definitely check uh, millvillemusic.org. Uh, there'll be a volunteer submission, a um, little bit more to read on that. So um, if you're thinking about it, if you think you want to get a group of people to come out, help out, by all means, please do. That's awesome. So I mean, part of last year's uh, festival, what was the most awesome thing about that for you? Any cool experience or broad thing uh, that, you, that, that, that you experienced? Um, that last year, last year was also the second for, for me personally, it was, I saw so many, so much good music. Um, I tried to get everywhere as much as I could, mm -hmm. as early as I could, as late as I could. Um, but I also live painted last year and that was only the second time I've ever live painted. Really? And it was, uh, just another cool way to socially engage the community, to be a part um, of the festival, connecting with not just people, but also the artists that are up there playing on stage, other people working, volunteering the festival as well. Awesome. Just checking in. Thank you, everybody, that's been joining us in the chat room. Uh, our friend, uh, uh, bro, Mar uh, Marion, and uh, Crystal and Dory uh, checking it out. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, real quick or anything. But we have just shout outs to you so far. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Mike, man. hard, hard, hard. I imagine they're, they're talking about you and not me. Um, hi, Foos, and. Uh, <laughs> Brother Foos of Z Force, so you got fans out there. A lot uh, of, a lot of fans, a lot of friends. Uh, <laughs> always making more. A lot of nicknames. Uh, thank you for them all. That's awesome. Uh, so, uh, what's a, what's you know, generally aside from you know, you know, seeing the art thing happen, like what's the most awesome thing you're looking for this year? Look forward to this year. Um, outside of just getting to know the visual artists and. Uh, get used to their work. I'm really excited for a lot of the new music um, this year. The mm -hmm. uh, There aren't a lot, a lot of uh, last year's alumni, so it's always good uh, for the festival to push itself forward in, uh, in a new Sonicscape. Um, so whenever I can, I mean, I'm going to be taking care of everyone on Sedgwick. Um, I don't know where I'm going to try and be, what stage I'm going to try and get to, um, but as long as everyone's... Uh, comfortable feeling good i'm definitely going to try and catch some new music uh when and where i can that's awesome well the millville music festival is uh may 12th 2018 i give it time but it's pretty much all the time that day i believe right <laughs> pretty much just, uh, just swing you know. by millville if you got something else going on you can only get down here for an hour or something i mean i think you're going to find something to do with that experience a see and 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 again i think you know it's been you know this this Amazing town right across the river from all the stuff happening in the city. Uh, you know, I think it's the best kept secret that's that's getting out there uh, in the recent years. So, and this is a great showcase for it. So, anything else to check out? Anything else to shout out or anything like that while we're at it here? A couple weeks out from Millville Music Festival. Um, MillvilleMusic.org, uh, the Facebook event. Uh, stay alert for updates. Uh, April twenty seventh, a good time bar uh, for the last Millville Music fundraiser, mm -hmm. and hope to. Uh, See you all supporting local, um, rain or shine, having a good time, uh, May 12th. May get even more fun if it's rain sometimes from the festivals I've experienced. <laughs> all Making right, thank you so much, thank uh, you, Mike, for uh, joining us here on the awesome chat. Please check out melvillemusic.org. Uh, and again, uh, there was going to be live streaming. Our, our sister company, uh, uh, Psychic Media Services, is involved in that uh, and uh, helping out with that as well. And uh, please check out all the things going on, all the awesome things that we actually did an interview, I think, last year about uh, Millville Music Fest that you can check out and see uh, where, where we were, where our, their heads were at going into the very first one uh, before it happened over at AwesomeCast. Dot com and please subscribe to everything and check out our friends at riversedgepgh.com of course uh, they're uh, our, our friends that are streaming us uh, the awesome cast and I think some of these interviews are popping up as well over there um, and uh, and uh, it's some really cool local stuff going on uh, so until next uh, thank you to my awesome guest thank you to our awesome chat room that's joined us on Facebook live here and uh, you've been our awesome audience have an awesome week
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.